The confirmed number of cases of the coronavirus in Los Angeles County today comes to 53,651. The confirmed number of deaths reaches 2,338. Here in Torrance, the total number of confirmed cases is 381, with total confirmed deaths at 45. We anticipate those numbers to increase as the county's last 24-hour operating period is updated. Welcome to COVID-19 Today. I'm Christine Lee. It's 2 p.m. on Sunday, May 31st. Torrance City Manager Leroy Jackson declared a local emergency last night amid civil unrest in adjacent cities in Los Angeles County and planned protests in Torrance and the greater South Bay communities. A curfew has also been put in place. The curfew runs from 8 p.m. until 5.30 a.m. daily until further notice. Torrance police have deployed extra staffing throughout the city and will be highly visible while enforcing the curfew. Now, this curfew does not apply to members of emergency services like police, fire, National Guard, or other military personnel. It also does not apply to authorized members of the media of any news service, newspaper, radio, or television. It also does not apply to people going directly to and from work as well as essential workers. Now, violations of the curfew is considered a misdemeanor and subject to punishment. In response to local civil unrest and violence seen across the country, Torrance Police Chief Eve Berg is set to release a statement this afternoon. Chief Berg says that the Torrance Police Department is incredibly disturbed and saddened by the death of George Floyd and says the actions of the officers are deplorable and violates the public's trust, something the Torrance Police Department has worked so hard to build within the Torrance community. Chief also says in response to the civil unrest occurring throughout our nation and California, the Torrance Police Department continues to monitor the events in downtown LA, Fairfax District, Beverly Hills, and throughout the west side of LA. She said Torrance Police supports and upholds the First Amendment right to freedom of speech and to peacefully assemble and to protest. However, they will not condone the illegal activities of rioting, looting, physically harming others, and destroying property. You can find the full statement online on the city's social media platforms. California Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency in Los Angeles County as we head into the fifth day of protests. The state approved the city of L.A. and the county's request to deploy members of the National Guard to assist Los Angeles and neighboring communities. Nearly 700 members of the National Guard will help local law enforcement deal with potential looting and vandalism in various parts of the county and help maintain order. Local media in Los Angeles captured hundreds of people looting and smashing windows, setting stores on fire, and torching police cars in downtown L.A., Beverly Hills, Fairfax District, and in parts of West L.A. In response to the death of George Floyd, protests first started in Minneapolis, where Floyd died almost a week ago after a police officer kneeled on his neck for more than eight minutes in an incident that was captured on camera and widely seen. Since the incident, the officer involved has been arrested and charged with murder. He and three other officers who were involved have all been fired. Despite the officer's arrest, protests have continued to spread to cities all over the country, with many starting out peacefully. The nationwide response against police brutality and the death of Floyd have sparked worldwide attention. Here in Torrance, a local protest continues to take place just outside of the Civic Center near Torrance and Madrona Avenue. Authorities continue to monitor the event to ensure it is a peaceful rally. In response to protests occurring throughout the country, retailer Target announced temporarily closing a number of stores throughout the U.S. This includes 170 stores across the country and 47 stores in California alone, with more potentially closing. Target employees that are impacted by the temporary closure will be paid for up to 14 days of scheduled hours, including the COVID-19 premium pay. Staff can also choose to work at other nearby Target locations that are open. Target released a statement saying our focus will remain on our team members' safety and helping our community heal. The Target location in Torrance decided earlier today they would also close their doors out of an abundance of caution and concern for employees and shoppers. With notice given just a few short days ago, restaurant owners are working to get their establishments up and running as early as this week 
all while following safety protocols and strict modifications. Torrance restaurants like Local Kitchen in downtown Torrance say staff is training and preparing the inside of the restaurant to reopen in dining service as early as Tuesday. They will have additional seating outside as well to help with social distancing protocols. Their new hours are 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. on Tuesday, 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. on Sunday and closed on Mondays for now. After months of streaming religious services due to the stay-at-home order, places of worship in Los Angeles County were able to open their doors to allow in-person service today. As health officials give the green light, organizations are having to make modifications, such as limiting to less than 100 people or 25 percent of their normal capacity, whichever is less. Worshippers must wear masks, avoid sharing prayer books, as well as the offering plate. Physical distancing must be maintained, and those who are over 65 years of age or with underlying health conditions are encouraged to stay home as much as possible. The Department of Public Health released a framework for the opening this weekend. Organizations are encouraged to continue offering services of worship and group meetings online until more restrictions continue to be lifted. A Torrance-based business, Doc Magic Inc., known for their e-sign technology, is offering support to the business community in a big way during this COVID-19 health crisis. Doc Magic Inc. announced it has made an agnostic version of its e-sign technology available for free in order for businesses to increase productivity, efficiency, and compliance among work-from-home employees during COVID-19 as well as after the stay-at-home orders are lifted. Doc Magic Inc. is the premier provider of fully compliant loan document preparation, regulatory compliance, and comprehensive e-mortgage services. They've modified their platform, enabling it to easily handle the execution of important documents such as contracts, NDAs, and LOIs, and virtually any other agreement to be electronically signed and legally binding. This can be done without the need of any hardware or software. The 100% web-based, easy-to-use service can be securely accessed with just internet connection. To learn more, go to docmagic.com. The City of Torrance continues its transit service today with modifications. For those needing to take the bus today, lines 3, 4, X and 8 will be operating. Transit fares have also been suspended along with modified bus schedules during the health crisis. Buses are currently operating on a Saturday schedule throughout the entire week. You can check out their routes online at transit.torrancea.gov. The world witnessed a historic first yesterday as NASA and Elon Musk SpaceX successfully launched from the U.S. carrying two veteran astronauts. The Crew Dragon capsule, which separated from the booster on time 12 minutes into the flight, docked shortly after 10 a.m. this morning at the International Space Station. This is the first commercially built and operated American rocket and spacecraft carrying astronauts Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley on the Crew Dragon capsule. This is SpaceX SpaceX's first human-rated spacecraft and NASA's first crewed mission in nine years since the space shuttle program ended in 2011. You can see in the video posted by NASA that astronauts Behnken and Hurley arrived to the orbiting laboratory in SpaceX's Dragon Endeavor spacecraft. How exciting to see the crew making history today. Well, if you're one of thousands who won't be part of a traditional graduation ceremony due to COVID-19, we want to celebrate you and your big milestone. Congratulations to Nathan Cortez. He will be receiving his associate's degree from El Camino College next month. He is the secretary of El Camino College Circle K International Club, a recipient of the Hermosa Beach Kiwanis Club Scholarship, and a Torrance High graduate, class of 2018. He is a proud Torrance native, born and raised. He is excited to be headed to California State University Long Beach in the fall as a transfer student to continue his academic career as a political science major. Congratulations to you, Nathan, and all of your accomplishments. Whether it's a preschool promotion or college graduation and every milestone in between, send us your photo and let us know what school you're graduating from. We'll be sure to share it on our show. Email us at COVID19today at torrentca.gov. Well, before we go, at the end of each program, we typically share stories from our community feel-good pictures, images, and videos that remind us of how resilient our community is and reflect how Torrance truly cares. Well, communities throughout the country continue to respond to the death of George Floyd. 
And amid all the violence, looting, and rioting, we wanted to leave you today with a simple but powerful quote from civil rights leader, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He said, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. And with those powerful words, we hope the Torrance community will continue to show how unique our city is, continue to show one another love, respect, compassion, and strength, not in violence, but in solidarity for peace. Email us at COVID19today at torrentca.gov if you have questions or just want to share. Stay informed by signing up at torrentca.gov slash torrentsalerts. Subscribe to City Cable's YouTube channel and be sure to like the city's Facebook page. That's our update for COVID-19 today. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow at 4 p.m. as Ben McCain brings you the latest COVID-19 updates. Be safe, stay healthy, and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.